I'm back still in New York at this protest, but I just want to remind people, and somebody reminded me of this today, that during the Iranian hostage crisis in which um, the Iranian people uh, held Americans hostage over its support of, at that time, the Shah of Iran, and admittedly, I have to go back and study and review um, exactly what happened with that and the politics of it. But it's just really important to know this much, that during that time, they let the black hostages go and the female, the women hostages. They let them go. And they let the black hostages go because they said that black people are oppressed in the United States and they did not want to contribute to that oppression. We need to know this. We need to know this. From what I understand, Iran has not invaded a country in 200 years. I'm going to again, you know, check my information. I like to always speak factually, but this is a fact. They let him go. And they only kept one because they believed that person was a spy. And I'm not exactly sure about the women, but they would not, if they thought that you were a spy or actively engaged in spy activities for the U.S., they did not let you go. But they did release black people. They made that strong political statement and they released women. You know, the country that supposedly has no respect for women, that has probably respected women far better than the U.S. ever has. They let them go. Now I want to ask you, especially if you're black, please tell me one time ever when this country ever showed you anything because you were black. Ronald Reagan didn't give a fucking iota of a goddamn damn about you. He didn't show you no leniency for anything. How many fucking times did this country ever say, well, let's release a, you know, a black person. Let's, uh, let's not be hard on this sentencing. You know, let's release some of these black political prisoners. Never, never, but Iran did, okay? Iran 